hi everyone we have this nice equation here on the left hand side of this equation we have three power towers and on the right hand side we have 729 and we want to find x that satisfies this equation so let's start our solution the left hand side of the given equation is x raised to the power x raised to the power 3 I'm sorry for that this is 3 and on the right hand side I have 729 and 729 is 9 raised to the power 3 you can take uh, uh, some time to find factors of 729 and you will see 729 is equal to 9 raised to the power 3 fine now uh, the trick here is to take another cube on both sides because we have a three here that's why we have to take another cube here and this is the trick okay you will see in a moment the advantage of taking the cube on both sides okay now we have to be careful here so let's simplify on the right hand side i can use this property of indices that says a raised to the power m raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m times n so just uh, multiply these exponents if you have parentheses like this then just multiply these exponents so 3 times 3 is 9 but on the left hand side on the left hand side uh, okay what so the question is can we use this property here the answer is no because we don't have parentheses like this if you don't have parentheses then these are called power towers okay and uh, power towers cannot be simplified by multiplying the exponents together okay so how can we simplify on the left hand side on the left hand side let's uh, okay so on the left hand side uh, what should we do on the left hand side i will multiply now we have this number x here and these are the exponents so let's multiply these exponents together so you will have three times x raised to the power three so you cannot multiply these two but now we have since we have parentheses here so therefore we can multiply this whole term with this guy okay this whole ex exponent one exponent is this whole guy and the other one is this one fine now the right hand side is 9 raised to the power 9 and now i can use this uh, property again to write this guy as a raised to the power n raised to the power m so if m is inside the parenthesis then this property says you can switch the role of m and n because both give us the same answer and by using this property i can write x raised to the power 3 you, you see here i'm bringing this 3 inside the parenthesis and this uh, this exponent x raised to the power 3 outside the parenthesis by using this property okay now what is the advantage of doing this the advantage is now we can use this property a raised to the power a same base and same exponent and is equal to some other number raised to the same exponent then this property says a is equal to b very easy to prove this property okay so if you look at here we have a same base raised to the same exponent equal to same uh, base to the same exponent this means that the number on the left hand side which is x raised to the power 3 must be equal to 9 by using this property since we want to find x so let's take cube root on both sides therefore these guys will cancel and we will end up with x equal to cube root of 9 which can be written as 9 raised to the power 1 over 3 this is our answer but let's verify to confirm that this is the correct answer we had x raised to the power x raised to the power 3 and we want to see if this is equal to 729 or not if you plug in x equal to 9 so let's plug in x equal to 9 uh, uh, cube root of 9 then we will have cube root of 9 raised to the power cube root of 9 raised to the power 3 you see i have parenthesis for each of these x okay and we want to see if this is equal to 729 or not okay 
so the, the for power towers you have to move downwards so you have to simplify the top tower first of all so simplify the top towers so the law of indices that i was talking about uh, will, uh, says that multiply the exponents so three times one over three three threes are going to cancel each other so this guy that is inside the parenthesis will have exponent nine the leftover is nine because these three cancel each other and we want to see if this is equal to 720 or not now again the law of indices what is the law of indices that we are using here this law of indices this is what i used here and now i'm using again here so multiply these exponents three threes are nine so the left hand side is nine raised to the power three and on the right hand side i want to have 729 and you can see that a nine times not raised to the power three 729 so this satisfies the given equation so this is our answer and this can also be written as cube root of nine both are different forms of the same answer.